welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen and uh, this video i'm going to show you guys that how you can uh, customize the number of how you can customize it maybe change i must say uh, that how much products that you want your clients to see on your woocommerce shop page so uh, there there will be two ways that uh, today i'm going to show you the one would be without using code and second would be with with using code for some people uh, the first process does might not uh, work but the second one uh, but if, if uh, the first one is not working for you or if you don't have that uh, options on in your theme or maybe in your wordpress dashboard you can just uh, you can just follow the second process that i'm going to show you and uh, i am pretty much sure that it will uh, work perfectly so uh, without further ado let me just uh, uh, request you that uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and click on that uh, bell icon to get notified whenever you uh, whenever you are, are, i upload a new video and uh, please like the video and uh, don't forget to uh, tell me that uh, how much you like it and if, if you have if you are if you have any questions you are most welcome to ask them in the comment section below i will i will be more than glad to help you out so for just for the sake of uh, an overview like uh, at the very at the very moment i'm just having a wordpress uh, website that i have set up on my uh, local computer just to just to hang around and uh, do stuff with it and uh, i and now i'm going to show you that how my store looks like and how many how many products uh, we are seeing over here in the in, the, in this moment in this very moment uh, so I'm on the shop page and uh, you can see that I am only seeing three products in my shop page So the first process will, will would be to go in on this customize uh, page and uh, Let's see if uh, if you have that option that I'm going to use you are most welcome to do that And if you do due to some reason you are not having these options or maybe these options are not working for you Maybe due to some bit maybe due to your theme or maybe some other uh, maybe some other thing uh, then after, after that i'm going to show you guys the second second way so i want you to scroll down and click on this woocommerce and after that i want you to click on this woocommerce product catalog the above uh, options you, you can see that uh, basically it's asking over for uh, shop page display that what you do what, what do you want to display maybe maybe products maybe categories maybe both of them so it depends if you want to change them and over here it's asking me to show how many products per per row uh, let's say if i change to four it will show four products in a row you see it's now showing four products per row in the in, in the same fashion you can just uh, change the number of rows maybe now i'm having one row in a in the in the complete page maybe i can change it to three and it will show me three rows and uh, four products per row and that means that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having 12 products in the WooCommerce shop page so what uh, what I uh, basically this was the first step and if it's working for you um, thumbs up and uh, if it's not working for you for some reason maybe then I want you to open the functions.php file of your WooCommerce website or maybe you can use code snippet plugin to uh, inject your code in your theme uh, for the, for for the for the sake of instance, I'm just going to use functions.php file for this for the for this specific task. And now what uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm I'm logged in. I'm basically I basically opened functions.php file and I'm at the bottom. And I want you to copy this copy this code and uh, just paste it down here. If there, there's not much going on in the in the in, in the in this code if you are if you are a programmer if you are a tech guy you you must have uh, you must have now uh, uh, understood understood that uh, what's basically going on over here basically we are just uh, hooking uh, to this to, to this filter hook and we we are just running our function name new loop shop page uh, shopper page and we are just changing the columns uh, basically we are just changing the, the number of products that we want to that we want to show over here basically if the uh, cols calls this, it, it doesn't matter that what what you name it basically you are just going to change the number of products that you want that that uh, that you that will be displayed on your woocommerce shop page if you are not a programmer if you are not a tech guy but you just need you just simply need to change this 
from 10 to any number that you want uh, that you that how many products let's say if you want five products to uh, be visible on your WooCommerce shop page you can just type five here and you can just save it once you've saved it uh, you are just uh, let me just uh, show you you can just try that if it's working or not uh, now i'm i'm landed on the woocommerce shop page and you can see that one two three and four and five i'm i'm just seeing five products in the woocommerce shop page because i have selected five over here if you if you if you if you if i want to uh, see let's say 10 products and basically it's that easy you just need to change that from five to ten and there you can have three three uh, nine and 10. We can see 10 products in the uh, WooCommerce shop. So uh, for this video, it will be it for the effort for today. And if you like the video, please like it and don't forget to share it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please comment down below if it's not working for you. I will be there to help you guys. You, or you can use or you can um, uh, you can just uh, join my WhatsApp chat or maybe the, ask me directly on WhatsApp or maybe Instagram. Uh, to your uh, if, if you if you want me if you want me to help you personally you can you can uh, use that as well uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, see you in the next one thank you